Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 7th through the 13th, or the second week of December. So we're just going to see what comes up for Leo. What do we have for Leo for the second week of December? What message do we have for Leo? What do they need to know? One message, one card, one card, one card. Teacher, somebody is being taught something. They're being taught something. It's it's a lesson of some sort. We're gonna go ahead and read that for you, but you can all, you always can learn from other people. So there, you may be learning something. You may be going through a big phase of um, learning some sort of lesson. You may be teaching somebody a lesson. Maybe you're the teacher. Upright, a man stands in front of a desk with a woman at his side, smiling and looking into a book. The light of spirit pours out of the book and encircles them. The positive influence of someone who will guide you in personal and academic directions is entering your life. So a teacher is entering your life. This person is going to guide you they're going to guide you in personal and academic directions. This guide may be of assistance in a very thoughtful or spiritual way. Whether you're looking into a new spiritual practice or searching for deeper psychological understanding, now is the time to learn. If you're thinking about going to school, be proactive about moving forward with that decision. Teachers abound in life, including in forms you might not expect, such as a book or online course. You may, in fact, be teaching some classes yourself, perhaps in small groups or in an academic setting. So get ready. Open your heart and remember that spirit brings guidance as well. Be willing to receive the direction you need and to share the wisdom you have. So maybe maybe you're teaching each other, okay? So it's definitely a time of gaining some sort of experience, whether you are taking a class, or you're teaching a class, or you're coming across somebody that is going to help you in some way. Um, so what do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo in regards to love? In regards to love, one card, please. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You have to make a decision. You have to tell the universe what you want. You know, when you're indecisive and you don't know what you want, you're telling the universe that you don't know what you want. So you have to clearly decide. You have to clearly decide where you want your future to go. Okay? And it, it's almost like as soon as you do, because that says very soon, there's a person that will enter your life. You, it's basically manifestation. Right? Once you decide what you want, here it comes. You could also get, be getting yourselves involved with a teacher, okay? Or somebody that is very, very spiritual. Now we have the King of Swords, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This is direct. It's uh, very, well, this is a communicator, somebody that communicates, that can communicate very, very directly, some sort of direct communication, um, being honest, being upfront, speaking the truth. Um, just do it. And this is somebody that is very decisive. Make a decision and stick to it. You definitely need to make a logical decision. Okay, now this is somebody who is very, very intelligent, very skilled, is very re well read. So whether you, whether you, um, you know, this is somebody who is in a position of authority that has worked hard to get there, has, does have schooling, you know. This King of Swords is very well schooled, very well. This is somebody that is professional, has become professional, very, very intelligent, um, has a lot of experience. So we're a very experienced individual here that maybe, maybe this is the teacher. I don't know. 
Um, let's get some more cards. Death. Now, death is an ending of some sort, an ending that leads to a new beginning. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, having it all, a nice, comfortable life. You know, this is somebody that has, is old, that has obviously obtained some sort of success. Now they're living a very comfortable life, has plenty. Interesting. Now this is the end of something, because death is an ending. But you have to make a decision about your future. You may have to plan for your future. You, you may have to make a decision right now so that you are set when you are older. You need to do something. This is do it right now. You're not getting any younger. And I don't know who that is for. Somebody needs to get themselves set. You know, because it's interesting. It's like, yeah, they do. They need to get themselves set. They may, you know, maybe you need to learn some new skills. Be logical. Get on it. Really get on it. Um, two of Swords. Now this is this is uh, torn. It's torn between head versus heart, and this is use your head. This is use your head. You're really going to need to use your head and, and buckle down. Uh, this is torn, torn, fighting, blocking. Maybe in denial, wanting to fight, choosing to fight, you know, going back and forth. There's a level of indecision here. Really, really think. You need to, you need to come up with a plan. This is, this is an idea. You need to take a new approach. You need to come up with a plan in regards to your future. Okay? So maybe this week you get engaged with somebody that can teach you something. Yeah, it's something about fears as well because it's being held back by fear. Somebody is being held back by fear, fear of the unknown, right? Fighting opposition too, very, you know, torn as to which way to go. <laughs> Definite blockage here. We have blockage. Somebody is, is blocking their own success. They are. They need to communicate. Somebody needs to communicate. They need to open up. They really need to open up. They need to let their guard down. Seek professional help. That's what it is. Seek that. Seek out somebody. Because that, this is a professional. And this is not communicating, not looking, not moving forward. And this is fighting opposition. It's like torn. You need to communicate, open up. Um... Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Make a decision and stick to it. Stop going back and forth. This is like avoiding something as well. Trying to avoid, you know. Now the Eight of Wands reversed is not ready for something. Just not ready. Not ready to open up. So somebody's right here that is watching this is not ready. They're not ready to open up, you know. There could be a lack of confidence here. But we do have a major ending. A major change is coming because of that death card. You need to look at something from a new perspective. I mean, that's what they look at it from every angle. Don't, don't stay where you're at. You need to get moving. Somebody needs to get moving. They do. professional there's some there's a professional here we there is there's a professional here that needs to make a decision 
there's a decision or there's an opportunity to become a professional. You could become a professional in whatever it is that you want to do. But you or you may have to learn some new things. You may have to open up. Stop blocking your avenues. You know, you're blocking your own avenues by being indecisive, by not communicating or something like that. Eight of Wands reverse is lack of communication, not going anywhere. Blocking. There's blocking. You may need to block somebody. You know, and I, and I don't know where that's coming from, but somebody could be hindering your success because this is an ending and this is block. You may need, and, and you know, block email. This is, this could be email. You know, people make excuses and this is excuses. You know, I think that you're going back and forth and you need to block somebody and this person is, is blocking you from extreme happiness. I mean, that's what I see. Um, that death card is an ending. Something has ended in your life. And I feel like you're wishing and hoping for, you know, you want abundance, right? Everybody does. But you have to do something. You have to, you have to uh, make a choice that you haven't made. You ha you've got to block somebody. That's, and there's people here. Maybe you need to block people. You need to make a, a decision based on truth, based on facts. Interesting. So anyway, what do we have for Leo? Death is the end of a situation with a new beginning to follow that leads you towards deep satisfaction. So once you make a decision and you stop, because death is an ending, when it's over, it's over, okay? When something is dead, it's dead. It, it's dead. You know, but if you keep going back and forth, I feel like there is a dead end here. Something is dead. Okay. Yeah. And you keep on looking back at it. You keep on looking back at it. You need to make a decision to focus on your future. Let it be done and you will be deeply satisfied. Okay. You, this is what this is. This is a week of making a decision. Are you going to block whoever this person is? Or are you going to keep going back and forth playing games? You, it's like you've been unable to see the truth. That's what the two of swords is. It's wearing a mask. Open up your eyes. Maybe somebody came into your life to teach you a lesson. Maybe you came into their lives to teach them a lesson. But when it's over, it's over. Maybe once the, once the lesson has been given and it's over, it's over. Anyhow, three of coins reversed. Now that is uh, lack of teamwork, lack of togetherness. Three of pentacles reversed. A uh, need to refocus. You really need to refocus. You do. I feel like you need to use your head. You're you're letting your heart get in the way, and that's typical, right, Leo? You're getting your heart. You because you're ruled by the sun, which which is the heart, right? So you're letting your heart get in the way of making a logical decision. I'm sorry. There is something right under my foot. And I am going to move it because it's right in the way. So, and it's interesting. Everything that happens during a reading is part of the reading. I had to move that out of the way so that we, so that we wouldn't have to hear it anymore. Okay? It was causing an interruption in, in, this, in my life, right? Or in, in this reading. If it's causing an interruption, remove it. Remove it. Get it out of the way. I feel like you've been trying to work with people, and I think it's people that don't respect you. There's lack of harmony with others, you know? And you need to refocus. You need to refocus and be, be logical. Remove your emotions for a minute. And this is like, if you think about the Three of Pentacles reverse, that's about learning new skills. You know... 
This is not wanting to learn new skills, not putting in effort, lack of ambition, lack of drive. Not wanting to let go, wanting to hang on to something, but not wanting to do the work. I don't know. It feels like you guys need to stop. Because this is stop. You need to stop fighting or going back and forth with somebody that you don't work well with. And it's like you're refusing, and I feel like you're refusing to block the communication. And you need to on every avenue. Every avenue. And that includes email. And don't come up with, and this is making excuses. Don't make excuses, oh, I don't know how. There's no such word as can't, okay? There isn't, really. That, the word can't is for people that give up. It can be done. You can block somebody if you put in effort. And that you don't really want to. If you don't really want to, then you'll use the word, I can't do it. That's an excuse. So anyway, I feel as though you are going to be going through a transition. You may be uh, focusing on your future, which is hopefully what you're doing. Making an informed decision based on some facts. Needing to use your head. Okay, you really need to be logical here. You need to be logical. You really, really, really need to be logical. You clearly need, need to decide what you want. Okay? Four of Cups. You have another opportunity. Okay, you've been missing an opportunity. Holding on to something that is over. Okay, and that means it's, it's kind of like if you keep communicating with the past. Just a little bit. Even a little tidbit. Okay, you're telling the universe that you're not ready and this is not ready. You're telling the universe that you can't let go. You need to let go. So I feel like this week you have another opportunity that you are missing. You are missing out on it. And I feel like you're missing out on it because you're too discontent. You, you don't know what you want. You're confused. I, I see confusion here. You're sad. You're moping over a loss. You're moping over something that happened in the past. There's an opportunity for a new life here, for a new beginning. But in, in, until you make a decision to stop going back and forth in your mind, you are going to continue to block your... Now, these are mirroring each other. This is blocking abundance, blocking happiness, blocking wish fulfillment. You are blocking wish fulfillment by not letting go. It is time to let go. It is completely, completely. So yeah, we have a new beginning here, but you're missing it. You're missing it or you're just not interested in it. You may be getting an offer from somebody or somebody. Um, you may even be trying to offer something to somebody. That could be you offering somebody something and this person's not interested because they know. You know, this person may be very intuitive. Okay, they may be, um, you know, when you think about the king of the king of uh, swords. That is somebody who can basically see right through. This is somebody who is very experienced that can see right through. You could be dealing with somebody that can see right through, you know, lies, you know. So whether you could be offering somebody, you know, your feelings, your love, your heart, whatever. And they, they may not be interested. They may not be interested. They may not be interested because you, you need to stop going back and forth with somebody else and they know because the king of swords is very experienced very knowledgeable this person is is very wise has a lot of wisdom you know 
So I think we have a very wise individual here that uh, is looking at a person that is struggling. They're looking at a person that is struggling about uh, letting go, letting go of somebody that they have been playing with. You know, they've been playing with this person. They haven't completely stopped and uh, release this person so they may not be getting engaged hmm. anyway this is not interested we have somebody here that is not interested whether it's you or the other person you may be interested in a new beginning with somebody that is very set very comfortable and that person may not be interested they may not be interested because there's a lack of uh, harmony, you know, there's there's some sort of, uh, well, whoever this person is, they're using discernment, okay? They've made a judgment call. They've, they've, they've already made their decision, okay? Somebody has made their decision. They may not be interested. And I feel like they're not interested because, you know, maybe they're torn between two avenues or they see that you are torn, you know? Who wants to, who wants to get involved with somebody that is, you know... Um, indecisive you know that's that's no fun that's no fun so there could be a, a block in communication that is coming this week somebody could get blocked somebody could be blocking you you could be getting you could be blocking them so prepare be, be prepared for that okay there's definitely some sort of, of blockage here a shutdown in communication uh, somebody may be shutting down communication uh, see if we can there we go that's stopping stopping communication so I do feel like there's going to be somebody that is getting blocked somebody is getting blocked and I think it needs to happen it does need to happen um, whoever you're dealing with um, either you're not interested or they're not interested and it needs to end it needs to end with that death card You need to stop giving something your energy so that you can have the abundance that you deserve. So I feel as though this week is going to be a week of being logical, being wise, using discernment, observing and reflecting and changing your uh, perspective. Okay, this is change in perspective, changing your perspective on something. Okay, and it, it, changing your way. Yeah, I think this week you're going to be making a decision, or somebody could be making the decision for you. There's definitely a lack of interest here. Somebody's not interested. They are not interested. So Leo, I feel like this week you're going to have to make a, I think it's a tough decision. And if you're not going to make the tough decision, somebody else is. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio. Somebody is going to be making a decision and it's based on the truth and they're going to stop communicating. They're going to cut communication completely. Because they're just not interested. And that is what I see. Good luck.